We're rolling on our treehouse for mountaineering adventurers Colby and Caitlin, which is gonna be our first ever treetop sauna. That's pretty cool. We got it, we got it. Right now, yeah! We're laying down the subfloor. Oh yeah. Which will give a little trim to accommodate for our round substructure. Round room. And down below, Devin is leading our crew in wrapping up the round walls. Uh, we're using this really thin and flexible plywood. If you have anything that's much thicker than this, it's not gonna sort of bend and be flexible. But since this dug fir plywood is only an eighth inch thick, we're gonna make sure we insulate the bejesus out of this thing. Nice, guys. Don't forget the windows. Now, this treehouse may be small, but it's still got nine walls that we built right here on site. First wall's in. Whoa. Four walls for the area that used to be the napping room. Mike, did you get the memo that this is a sauna now? Oh, it's better. It's better. That's just it's way better. better. And then five semicircular walls that we'll use to make up the big round room. Hey, you want the next wall? Let's do it. Last wall. All right, looks good. So this is some of the spruce that we acquired at the local sawmill. And Chuck's done a great job of cutting all of these rafters, these little bird's mouth cuts that are gonna sit right on the rim of that circular top plate. All these pieces will fit together. We've got eight of them. Kind of a cool setup here, ready to go. Solid job, Mr. Chuck. We don't know if these are gonna work yet. Uh-oh. They're ready to go up. Oh. I'm being nervous that they're totally wrong. All right, let's go see if these rafters fit. A round roof is a little more complicated than a normal roof. The seat cut where the rafter sits on the wall has to be precise, and the tops have to come together and fit perfectly like a puzzle. I'm hoping I'm right. A lot at stake here. There should be a mark on those for where the plates align. Uh, there is. I see a mark on the top. How are we feeling, Devin? Does it look toy? Well, uh, so look under where my hand is. We got like... That's not a that's issue. Like, the irregularity of the live edge isn't going to let us meet that, but as long as the top is working. The that's, angle's fine. That's yeah. right. Okay. So Devin spooked me a little bit with his comment about how the rafters weren't fitting at the bottom. A little exciting, actually. But the true test of a rafter is how tight it fits at the top at the peak. Look at that! You happy, sir? Happy, happy. Nice. Let's hope the rest go down just as easy. Woo! Yes. Huh? <laughs> Is this outdoors, indoors, or what? Pretty outdoorsy. Wow. Keep it rolling. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Where's that other guy? Roll. Man, my team is awesome. Last one. Oh. Yeah. Done, huh? Perfect. You killed it. Wow. Perfect. OK, your job is safe. Wait, what? <laughs> Just a few more interior touches, and we'll have this baby done. I didn't think it'd be so hard to put rectangle flooring in a circle building, but we figured it out. We got an extra piece of our base with the nice curve on it, that the full circumference here. So we do a little measurements, we drop that on there, we got the perfect cut. Man, my team is awesome. <laughs> Oh, hello, Christina. Lo and behold, it's Denali's Dame of Design. Did you finish all that furniture already? I finished it all. I made this table. <laughs> cool, come on up. And she's toting all sorts of great goodies that she's made herself out of locally sourced materials. And that is a burl and a half. Where did that come from? Actually, a wood guy up here, and yeah. he like had it in his yard, and I was like, hey, dude, what are you doing with that? Can I have that? So let's just pop this stuff down here. OK, what do you think? I love it. It's very Alaska. It's also a little bit party. You have more furniture. Did I you, have a did bunch of other stuff. Let's go get it. This is our little creation. I know. This is our bench. OK, so go left. Left? OK. Yep. And pop her down. 
Beautiful. Christina's bringing in tons of woodsy wonders to give this baby that natural vibe on the inside. Boom. Are those the real deal? They are the real deal. <gasps> Warm. It's gonna be so cute in it's here. It's gonna be good. Ah! It's gonna be really good. Exquisite. This is not a polar bear. She's designing furniture using all Alaskan antiques and materials. I love it. So imagine you come in, you climbed a mountain, it was insane, you're freezing. And you come in here, you wrap yourself in a blanket, you sit in front of the fire, boom, you're warm. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. And she's helping to make sure that every time you enter this treehouse, it feels like you're stepping inside the outside. Because really, what's cozier than a sheepskin rug in front of a fireplace? Duty in place. We work with a local artisan to make these chairs that are made out of actual trees. We brought in the details like the trim. We brought in local foliage. Really, this is about incorporating those natural elements you see outside and making them functional inside. Oh, God. Wow. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's incredible. When we walked through the door, it was sort of magical. The fireplace is there, the furnishing, the cozy sheepskins, all the natural fibers. <laughs> it's like out of it's this world. Amazing. Isn't that fun? Yes. I loved the scribed ceiling. That was a really cool detail that somebody really spent some time thinking about and putting together, as well as the mountain motif all around the circle. I have to show you this because Christina did this. Wow. Right out of the forest, you know? Yeah. Outdoors in is what we heard. So we brought yeah. the outdoors like That's directly in. Perfect. This is a wood stove. Awesome. This is not just for looks. Wow. Come on, when you're out in 40 below and you want to come in and warm your bones, I mean, this is the place. So can you imagine, yeah, when it's all freezing, like you wow. come off of the mountain and you come in here and there's oh, snow outside. Heat. And then, are you ready? This is the thing that you were all excited about. I'm very pleased that they decided that they needed a sauna in this treehouse. Oh my God, look Whoa. at that. Huh? That That's is amazing. the real deal. It's the real deal. I mean, come on. A sauna is way more fun than a napping room. Wow. Whoa. Squeeze in. Man. Wow. Isn't this sweet? That's awesome. Can you smell it, that cedar? Starting to sweat already. <laughs>